Hello friends, today we would be performing the iodine clock reaction. This is a classical experiment used to demonstrate the chemical kinetics of a reaction. Here we will be preparing two clear solutions and then we will mix those solutions. The materials required for those solutions are given below. This reaction takes place in two steps and the first step is a slow reaction and that is the rate limiting step for this reaction. The thiosulfate ions will use up the triiodide formed and hence starch cannot form a complex with the triiodide. The rate of this reaction can be altered by two methods. One is by increasing the acid concentration iodide and hydrogen peroxide or by decreasing the thiosulfate. Now we will be seeing the chemistry in action. I have taken a 250 ml flat bottom and have added solution 1 into it. Solution 1 contains 25 ml of 0.5 molar potassium iodide and 25 ml of 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate and 2 grams of soluble starch in it. Now I am adding the solution 2 which contains approximately 25 ml of 1 molar sulfuric acid and 25 ml of 3% hydrogen peroxide. On mixing these two solutions you can see that there is a color change after some time and the color is turning darker and darker. Now we will see the chemical kinetics. I have taken 5 beakers with varying concentration of sodium thiosulfate with all other reagents in constant concentration. Now I will be adding solution 2 into all these beakers containing varying concentration of sodium thiosulfate in it. You can see that as soon as I have added the solution, the color change has occurred in the first beaker within 10 seconds. Now we will wait for the next beaker to change the color. Observe that the second beaker has started changing color. The second beaker took 33 seconds and the fourth beaker took 30 seconds to change its color. I will add a little more amount of solution 2 into the third beaker because initially in a hurry I only added a very less amount of solution 2. Note that the third beaker has also changed the color and it took about 1 minute to change the color. Finally, we see a change in color in the fifth beaker after two minutes. Now, we will reveal the concentration of thiosulfate in each of the individual beakers. The first beaker has the lowest concentration of thiosulfate, hence the thiosulfate ions got exhausted faster and the triiodide formed reacted with the starch forming the color, hence it formed the color faster. The last beaker has the highest concentration of thiosulfate, hence it took more time for the thiosulfate ions to exhaust, hence it gave the color last. If you can support me financially, you can do that via Patreon or PayPal. The link for these websites are given in the description. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button.